Greetings, Minecrafters, and welcome to another Minecraft discussion in the woods. Yay. My name is Kimberly Quinn, and I am extremely excited. Well, I'm excited about a lot of things. Also, the leaves are starting to turn up here in northern Vermont, which is gorgeous. They're just barely starting this year, which feels actually a little late. I don't know why that is, but it's so pretty. And little G's with me. And today I want to—I would like to have a chat with you about operating from your place of strength. You know, strength is also what people respect. It's just how it is. It's true. So think about it. When, when we really need to uh, hear the truth, when we really need something, we've got something going on in our lives, maybe something that's hard and challenging, um, maybe something we did that we messed up or whatever, and we, we really are needing help. That's when we go to our safe people. I mean, for me, my husband will absolutely tell me the truth. What we want is the truth. Well, it's not the same people we go to when we're needing kudos and to be stroked. I mean, our safe people give us authentic strokes, but it's just different. They will tell you like it is with kindness. Our dear friend Father Mike used to say that. You got to say how you feel or you'll had all it kind of pop off you and that guy had lived that part but basically you got to say how you feel but with honesty and kindness so we go to our safe people when we screwed up or something happens in life that's just hard out in the world or in the workplace or whatever and the the, the strong part is that what's the matter jay he's crying hopefully it's not a bear we don't need that just right now it's also bear hunting season i was just told so we got to keep that in mind so uh, we go to our safe people because we need their strength. We want to reside in our strength and we need to, we go to them because they tell us what we need to hear, not what we want to hear. What we need to hear, not what we want to hear. And we also, you know, want to turn, like, you know, avoid that place of, of being a victim. That's just a weakened state. We don't want to reside there. So by living and residing in the truth, going to these people in our place of, from our place of strength into their place of strength and receiving what they have to say helps us to remain in our place of strength. We can also develop our own code of ethics. And I do need to do a shout out. He seems like he sees somebody. I don't know. We have to kind of develop like our own personal code, you know, as far as just integrity. We don't want to be victims. We want to, you know, really say things that are positive. I am strong. I can get through this. I can persevere. I'm resilient. Da, 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 da. That also keeps us in our place of strength. I made a couple of notes. So uh, my inspiration was from Wayne Dyer. Right now I got a little distracted because Denny G sees something over there. But also we've had a lot of turkeys. We actually had a mallard land in our front yard today, which is a little weird because there's no body of water right there. So she could have been lost. I don't know. Um, anyway, so it's about quietly being, you know, being quietly effective, which we talked about before, because we do teach people how to treat us. We know that for sure. We teach people how to treat us, but sometimes we get into big conversations like, oh, and, and it's not saying that there isn't, I'm not saying that there isn't a time for conversations because of course that's a good thing to do. Have conversations about this and that, those in processing, though, as far as t really being strong, coming from your strong place about you know teaching people how to treat us, which we do all day, every day, right from the subconscious, is with our behavior, not with words, primarily, primarily with our behavior. So that's the quietly effective part. And that's the, the part we're talking about coming from strength. So somebody gives you some snark at a family thing or workplace or something like that, rather than get all into it and give them all their snark back and bring your high vibe self down to their low vibe, not worth it. It's much better to just walk out of the room and not walk out of the room with swag like I'm proving a point. Just quietly in a, a way that's not drawing any kind of attention. Just remove yourself. It's a much stronger statement. And then if people come follow you later, are you okay? Are you all right? Are we good? Do you still like me? Do you still love me? Don't even answer any of that crap. Don't even answer any of it. Just, just you know, smile and nod and I'm fine. Thank you. Just quietly effective. That's coming from a place of strength. I made a couple other notes here. Um, and then we, and then just, we, we also can remind ourselves when we're feeling like we're in a, you know, like in a conflict or whatever that, hello, I was put on this earth for a purpose. I have a, I have a reason to be here and I have every intention of fulfilling that meaningful purpose, my authentic self. I have every intention of doing what I need to do. And I plan to be forward thinking, forward thinking, 
and fi you know filling that filling that what I was supposed to do giving to the world in my own unique way and no one's getting in the way of that so here's the thing we all have the right to move forward and do exactly what we were put on this earth to do we have we have that right as as spirits spirits all wearing different outfits right G you and I wear a different outfit the only rule we can't you know break is the universal rule of we can do whatever we whatever we need to do to, to fill up our uh, to keep ourselves filled up and 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 follow our authentic path as long as it doesn't interfere with anybody else's following their authentic path path that's the one rule otherwise we are good to roll we just have to do that harmonious thing of respecting their path as well so basically that's it come from a place of strength not weakness do not want to be a victim there's no power in victimhood that's it Strength is where we're is what we're talking about, which which is integrity and authenticity and residing in the truth, with the courage that it takes to reside in the truth, not to lower ourselves to the vibes of other people. No, quietly effective. Teach people how to treat us from a place of integrity. That's it. This is Kimberly Quinn signing off from the beautiful Notch in Northern Vermont. Zaiji, have a mindful, mindful day. Yeah.